Hey guys, I'm Oren Finley from Quality Works Consulting Group Jamaica and today I will be showing you how to create an EC2 instance on Amazon Web Services. Firstly, EC2 is short for Elastic Compute Cloud and if this is the first time you're hearing this term, you may be wondering what does that mean. But to keep it short, it is a web service that provides resizable computing capacity in the cloud. Okay. Let's get cracking. In order to follow me in this tutorial video, you'll need an AWS account. So if you don't have an account, you should maybe pause the video and create one. Also, there's a section at the beginning of the presentation on QualityWorks tutorial page on creating an AWS account. It doesn't give a step-by-step -step guide, but it specifies all the issues that we at QualityWorks think you could encounter when creating an AWS account. Okay, so let me just head over to Amazon Web Services and enter my credentials. And let's head over to EC2 virtual servers in the cloud. Okay, so here is where you create and configure your EC2 instances. If you had previously created instances or had any running, they would all be displayed here. Also, you would see your key pairs, security groups, and elastic IPs here as well. I'll speak about these terms further on in this video. For now, let's just click on Launch Instance to start creating our instance. AMI is short for Amazon Machine Image. I'd like you to think of this as the operating system for your instance, because it actually is. So feel free to just scroll the options and select the AMI that you want on your instance. However, for this tutorial we'll be working with the Amazon Linux AMI. This was created based on the Red Hat Enterprise Linux and it was developed a couple years ago as a low cost offering. And to select your AMI, you just simply go to the right section and click select. Now let us state the type of our instance that we are creating. Amazon has several types of instances. When choosing, you should consider what is the purpose of your instance, as the different types has different amount of memory and processing power. You should scroll through the different types and select based on what you wish. However, for this tutorial, we'll just select the T2 Micro because it is eligible for free tier and we won't be doing much processing or needing much memory on our instance. We have now reached the point where we should configure our instance. There are a lot of options here and we won't be going through them all. We will just speak about the ones that are most used or most popular. The first field contains the amount of instances you want to create. Here you can create an IAM role which can be used to grant permissions to application running on your instances. Also, this option shutdown behavior states what happens when you shut down your instance. It can either stop or terminate. Terminate meaning it will delete your instance. Termination protection, this option right here, protects against accidental termination. By default, you can terminate your instance using the Amazon EC2 console, command line or API. Enabling this option will disable the termination using the console. All these other options, we'll speak about them and their purpose further on in our tutorial series. But for now, we will not say much. Let's just focus on getting your instance up and running. So, on to the next level. We have reached a point where we want to specify our storage type and size. As you might have guessed, this is the hard disk of your instance. You have the privilege of adding more than one. So if you click on this button here, you'll add an X volume. 
For this tutorial, we will choose only options that are eligible for Amazon free tier. So if you are following along and you are worried about your bills, as long as your account is less than one year old and you have no previous configurations and you have been following the configurations in this video, you need not be worried. Let's just click on next. Here, you can add tags to easily identify your instance and its purpose. Oh, by the way, if you are following this tutorial and you don't care about configurations and you just want to get your instance up and running, you could click on review and launch. However, Amazon will just automatically assign your instance configurations and that may attract a cost. Okay, for this name, I'll just name this test tutorial and I'll add another tag by description we can now click on next Okay, let's configure our security group. A security group can be thought of as a firewall. And I'll just go ahead and name my security group. And I will also add a description. Standard. In the description, I will put SSH, HTTP, HTTPS. Um, I will also put MongoDB and Node Apps because further on in this tutorial series, we will be talking about MongoDB and Node Apps on your EC2 instance. So just click on Add Rule to add an X rule. So we'll add our HTTP. And we'll add HTTPS. We'll also add two more custom rules. The source from anywhere. This means that any IP could access your instance via SSH. Now, we don't want that. So let's just put that to my IP. HTTP and HTTPS. That can be set to anywhere because... You want anyone to be able to access the things that you have on your web service. So let's just put this on my IP and my IP. And let's set this port to the default port for MongoDB, which is 27017. Also, for our node apps that we will be running on our instance, that will be running on port 3000. So now that that's all configured, let's just click on review and launch. Wow, we're almost there guys. Let's just review and launch. Ensure that your settings, all your settings that you selected are corresponding right here. And then you can just click on launch. We will now get a pop-up saying select an existing key pair or create a new one. We'll just select create a new key pair and we'll call this tutorial key. This key pair is an actual file with an extension .pem and this can be thought of as your credentials. This is the file we will be using to access your instance via SSH. Now, I want you to be very careful where you download and store this file. No one else should have access to this file. It can also be referred to as a private key. By the way, this file can only be downloaded once for security reasons. So if I'm supposed to click on download, and as you can see, it has been downloaded. If I'm to click on this again, I would get an error. See, error. The key peer tutorial key already exists. Okay, now let's just click on launch instances. 
initiating your instances are now launching and you have done it guys you have just created your EC2 instance on Amazon Web Services okay so that's it for this video guys have a great day coming from Erin Finlay at QualityWorks and see you in the next video